into the video, I want to tell you guys about my new Patreon that I just started, where you can donate money at any amount to help save the channel, and to also help build the quality of my videos for you, loyal fans. I will leave a link in the bio down below, in the description down below for more info. Click on the link and donate at any amount that you want that will help me and you build a better channel, and also save the channel at that being as well. Now, enjoy the video you guys, peace out. segment and today we are here to react to the evaluation of cartoons popular cartoons five of them from extreme trends make sure you go check their channel out on their channel <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying all right let's get ready to this reaction video do me a favor hit the like button down below hit that subscribe button down below also hit that bell for more notifications for me it'll come to you also let me know what you want me to react to next and i got you found hashtag rian Let's get right into this reaction video, you guys. Let's go. How's it going? Extreme Trends here, and welcome to the top five evolutions of popular cartoons. Now, it's inevitable for cartoons to change hmm. and morph as popularity and audience interaction steadily increases. There are quite a few factors that affect oh, the rate at which a cartoon evolves, whether it's due to advancements in animation and software, recent trends, or even if it's just purely based on when they debuted. It's often difficult to spot from a regular viewer's point of view, and is normally only noticeable before and after style comparison. Mm -hmm. However, that definitely Woody. doesn't mean the changes are subtle. I mean, some of these cartoons go from looking like an eight-year-old Scribbles <laughs> to the Mona Lisa. So let's have a look at some of the old cartoons and compare them with what they are now today. Number 5, South Park. Great cartoons often hold all of their praise in the animation department, leaving great storylines and writing to go overlooked by the pretty picture. That's never been a problem for South Park, however, with its daringly simplistic animation style becoming a trademark of the show. All of the focus is swung to the more important writing and characters. The charmingly simple adult cartoon is probably the most important TV show in terms of humour to date, breathing new life into hmm. satire and Family guy, by yes. bringing it to a new audience. For such an immensely popular TV show, it wouldn't be surprising if it was created by veteran animators. But no, it was created by two film college students during a grade project with no idea what they were creating. That's right, Trey Parker and Matt Stone threw together the first ever South Park episode, a formerly stop motion on the spirit of Christmas, as a bid to get at least a pass on their school project. A year later, the humble episode became one of the first first ever viral videos, ultimately leading to the creation of the show. South Park opened with a boom, receiving appraisal from the hilariously simple cartoon style and likeable childish humour. In fact, aside from adopting the four core characters Cartman, Kenny, Carl and Stan, and steadily building the town of South Park and its inhabitations, South Park stayed entirely true to its animation origins. What really separated South Park's humour from the rest of the adult cartoon pack of the early 2000s was its ability to concentrate and focus on mature subjects with a childlike sense of humour. Surprisingly, no other TV show has ever portrayed both Jesus and Satan himself in the same episode while repeatedly swearing at them both. So if there's really anything to learn from South Park's evolution, it's that good ideas are hard to come by and when you have one, you should stay true to it as much as possible. 17 years after a cruelly made stop motion created the world of South Park, the series still rages on as one of the great and most unique cartoons of all time. Hmm. Number four, Family Guy. Guy. What do you hey. get when you take the Simpsons concept and focus it at teenage men? Or when you swap the innocent little Mac Gooning for Seth MacFarlane? Well, you get a lot of swearing, a lot more raunchiness, and a bit more controversy, all of which packaged in one TV show called Family Guy. Family Guy is about as honest as cartoons get. Its slightly sick sense of humour coupled with fantastic visuals make it a truly modern animation and a forefather of adult cartoons. 
2. As it prepares to enter its 16th season this year, its dedicated fan base still lingers at a modern 14 million viewers per episode, with no intermediate suggestion of slowing down anytime soon. Hey. However, it's all the more impressive when you learn it was McFarlane's animation debut. Fresh out of university in 1999, Seth McFarlane morphed one of his college-made cartoons into the early comings of what we know as today as Family Guy. It all begins with McFarlane producing a seven minute long uned masterpiece featuring the entire Griffin family as we know and love today. From blue collar worker Peter Griffin down to evil mastermind Stewie Griffin. From initial viewings it's quite obvious the same show but it's the subtle difference that make Family Guy's evolution all the more special. Family Guy the episodes of Family Guy seem to try and be more controversial enough to be more popular but not controversial enough to be frowned upon. As the show gained more of a solid footing in terms of public relations, it noticeably gained confidence. With this newfound humour, the risks are very high for the show. Could it tap into an otherwise undiscovered funny bone amongst audiences, or will it just get a little too short for itself? It's clear that something along Family Guy's lifetime has separated it from its audiences, because as time went on, its ratings and number of viewers fluctuated dramatically, soaring in 2010, dipping to an all-time low in 2017. Family Guy is slowly becoming that weird uncle of family gatherings, the one with all of the borderline offensive jokes. Perhaps all of the confidence might have sent the show and its characters over the line. Number 3, The Simpsons. When the incredibly popular family cartoon begun with its rough edges and short runtimes, its creators had no idea that their modest little yellow family would soon become America's most beloved household. Today, Matt Groening's The Simpsons features sharp animations and critically acclaimed storylines, but it also has one defining factor that sets an objective for every other cartoon after it, and that is it appeals to everyone. It's almost like the town of Springfield is everyone's second home, a place where we've all been and we know the name of everyone inside, right down to the crazy cat lady. And it's not just an opinion, it's multiple feature film versions and hugely recognisable aspects from the opening titles to Bart's hairstyle. The Simpsons stand today as a feat that many other cartoons since and should have strived for. But the cartoon wasn't always the way we see it today. Take a trip back to the early 1990s however and it's a whole different story. The community of Springfield yeah. is non-existent and the entire cartoon is based on the Simpsons house. Household. With almost unrecognisable characters and incredibly simple storylines, the dawn of The Simpsons wasn't a pretty sight. It's clear that the early days of the show was an indecisive time for Matt Gooning, as each consecutive episode seemed to have gone through a facelift. It's widely known that The Simpsons has had its fair share of controversy since its creation in 1989, as the show has been brought to court for over eight times now for reasoning spanning from mid nudity to slandering an entire nation. It's fair it's safe to say that the city of Springfield has a lot more power than we give it credit for. Over the years, the show has consistently stayed at the head of scripted television, recently being recognised with both the longest running American cartoon and the longest running sitcom. It's fairly safe to say that without The Simpsons, we wouldn't have as many wide audience cartoons as we do today. And what's maybe even more impressive is that Margie's hair still stands tall and proud to this day. Number 2, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Slightly change of pace here, reverting back to traditional children's cartoons. When talking about these cartoons, it's difficult not to mention Alvin and the Chipmunks, a series deep in the hearts of everyone's childhood. Not only does it carry the weight of sentiment, you could say that the Chipmunks are some of the highest earning musicians ever. Accounting for just their box office earnings for the five movie spin-offs over the years, they're now worth over a billion dollars. That's a lot of money and a whole lot of high pitch singing. The Alvin and Chipmunks cartoon series span way back to 1961, just going by the name The Alvin Show. Although the characters have already gained fame through multiple recordings, this was the earliest form of the cartoon we all know and love. The cartoon came in the form of traditional family animation. Think of Tom and Jerry with less cats and mice, but with more chipmunks. From hmm. there, the characters bounced between the animation world and the music world until the 80s, 
when the Alving Show became Alving and the Chipmunks. With a fresh look and an updated music collection, the three tiny magicians sat proudly at the throne of children's cartoons for over 10 years. The TV show slowly transitioned into short films and then into features in 2007. And with the new age came a fresh look for the band. They would suddenly stretch into the 3D world in the semi-live action film Alving and the Chipmunks, which spawned three sequels. With every era of the Chipmunks, there were three things that were sure to change. The animation, the voice acting and the song list. 2015 saw a new era for the group with a new TV show airing on Nickelodeon with again fresh animation, new voices and an updated record collection. Alvin and the Chipmunks is truly a history book of cartoons and musical trends over the span of 50 years. Man. Who would have knew? Number one, Mickey Mouse. Hey, Disney he represent. The face of an industry, the grandfather of all cartoon characters, mm -hmm. and your grandfather's favorite cartoon character. And to be honest with you, he doesn't even really need an introduction. Mickey Mouse is really the OG oh. of the animation world, evolving from a steamboat Come worker back, to the face of a monopoly. Without the creation of Mickey Mouse by the legendary Walt Disney, we wouldn't have any of the other shows on this list. Yep. Nowadays, Mickey is a little too busy running Disneyland to play part in yes. his cartoons. However, he still shows his face in shorts and Disney Channel series and continues to be portrayed profusely in several platforms, from video games to comic books. Mickey Mouse was there at the origins of the cartoon and at the dawn of Disney. So wherever he goes, so does the rest of the cartoon world. He was yeah. there during black and white silent films. His cartoon pioneered color film and TV with some of the earliest colored film features like Fantasia and the band concert with Mickey Mouse at the forefront. With each and every technical advancement, Mickey had to adapt like a real mouse, just instead of for survival, it was for cartoon's sake. With TV gathering traction in the 50s, there was suddenly a whole other market for Disney to fill with Mickey Mouse cartoons. So what do you think they did? Well, of course, they had to set new records with their series, The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Strangely, with every instance of Mickey Mouse cartoons, Mickey seemed to have gained body parts. Whether it was eyebrow shoes or the ever-questioning growth of gloves, the Mickey Mouse of today is almost a completely different mouse than the one we first saw in the 30s. It's the fact that Mickey Mouse will be remembered forever long after he stopped airing in his own films and TV series as he'll still have kids running up to him at Disneyland. Yeah. I mean, who else can instantly be recognized by a silhouette of their head? Yeah. So that has been the top five evolutions of popular cartoons. If you did enjoy the video or found it interesting, then why not go check out one of our other videos by clicking a video on screen now. Awesome. Before you do that though, as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single upload. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video. Hmm. Wow. Cartoons have come a long way. That's all I'm going to say. Cartoons have come a long way. And stuff like this, I still watch. I'm happy I can say it's been there. Um, they didn't show SpongeBob. I wonder why. Eh, they probably did. I don't remember. Anyway, if you like my reaction, which was barely anything. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, like, really tired today. But um, just know that I'm still watching. So if I don't say nothing, I'm still watching. I'm just paying attention. All right. So uh, if you like my reaction, do me a favor. Hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button down below. Also, hit the bell down below. For more, for more information from me, it'll come to you. Also, let me know what you want me to react to next. And I got you found. Hashtag R-A-N. I'll see you guys. Sorry. It scratched my head. All right. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Peace out.